Hi guys, uh, so this is new day in my outside little labs, so I be in the different country last week, I be a little in Austria, Vienna, so I got uh, full my battery on again, uh, I do some job and uh, I very satisfied with the result, so today I don't work in my workshop. Today I will work with my hobby. So okay, uh, I will show you what we process now. So for today we got some pins. Uh, we do old-fashioned way pins because the, all my video from the start is uh, how you do this with uh, just a little bit money. So if you want to do with this with the electrolytes, you need the sulfuric acid, but we don't use sulfuric acid now. Okay, so this is mixer pins, uh, non-magnetic pins, I separate already, and here we got some two point five. So we got here. 160 grams of pins so pretty cool uh, this is pins from the motherboard but not uh, from the slot cards jacks this is uh, from video output and US USB and different stuff and we got some from the hard drives and uh, a lot of pins from the laptops some receiver and something else so okay now we got uh, we will take some big jar and we will put inside all the things i use the big jar because the surface when i shake like this you see how pins spread around and acid will will attack more surface so okay and now I can use a copper chloride but I don't I will not use this time copper chloride uh, I will show you a tra traditional way so now we will take some hydrochloric acid this size I'm not add too much acid so for the start I add just a, just to cover the pins and when I start to be saturated I add more and from the beginning reaction I will add just a, two deciliter that will be enough for the start reaction and for the next we use hydrogen peroxide 3% you can find hydrogen in the every drugstore for medic I had uh, three part uh, acid and one part uh, hydrogen peroxide, so I had uh, four cup HCl and I had just one cup peroxide. Okay, that will be enough. And we just add here for a start. That will be enough see that I guess some wood inside because uh, when I uh, depopulate I do on the wooden surface and maybe I 
scratch some wood with the pins together. So we will add this, we'll put this on the sun outside. Let's be open for the oxygen. And uh, I don't use air bubbler. You can use air bubbler to speed up the process, but I don't use air bubbler. And uh, okay, we will leave this for now and we will back for the maybe a couple of hours to see how we're doing. Okay, I just want to show you this. See that? This is my work solution. I already do some uh, yesterday, do some uh, gold dropping and everything's be fine. Uh, I got my gold, uh, but uh, I, I got so from from pins. I got maybe a zero point three grams, but uh, this solution still got gold inside. I do stainless stainless chloride test and still contain the gold. So I need to process that again. Can't now. Some different time. Okay. Let's be back uh, for a couple of hours. See what's going on with this. Okay, guys, I put this on the sun because a little heat, and uh, you already see we got uh, some good reaction after after one hour. Uh, solution start to be a green, so that means that the copper go in the solution, and if you see the pins. They already start to be black, some pins, some are, some not, but uh, they have time. So this is after one hour, and uh, we leave it till tomorrow to see what happens. Okay, after two days, we will now got our solution very dark, so... That means that uh, reaction is very good and the uh, copper from the pins go into solution. But I want to show you something. What is happening. Okay. You see that? You see that white dust on the bottom? You actually see it very good. This is the copper. So I first want to show you. Look at all the foils. Foils was great, but this white stuff on the bottom, this is the copper chloride, which uh, which uh, go out of solution. Uh, why? Uh, I first step. I skip the first step uh, when you do uh, mix the pins with the AP solution. I. Uh, the first, actually, second step, first step is uh, separate magnetic from non-magnetic. I do that, but uh, first, uh, second step is uh, the you need to soak uh, your pins in the HCl only HCl to remove uh, tin because the this size of some of these pins uh, contains tin on the end from solder and. Uh, uh, now when I put this AP solution, thing goes in the solution and pushing out the copper. So, hi guys, good morning. So first step uh, you need, uh, you should need to do is uh, remove magnetic pins from the non-magnetic pins. Then second step is the soak all the pins in HCl uh, to remove tin. And uh, if you do that, you not get this uh, white dust on bottom. This dust is actually cement on the back on pins. So I not do. I'm not uh, doing this uh, because I want to show you how it look. Um, I saw much time and a couple of times happened to me in the beginning. I saw, saw that much time people ask oh, what is this and uh, that is a uh, copper. I tried to smelt it once but uh, I'm not getting anything but if you see that if you shake it 
your solution you got more copper more that uh, white copper so this is not a big problem everything you should need to do because uh, in the beginning we put only two that's a liter HCL I put some more yesterday but uh, now we add so much HCL I use 80-20% because I can find stronger now I find stronger but uh, I need to go to take it and uh, uh, for the 160 grams pins you need uh, about one liter HCL because the uh, one uh, gallon HCL maybe dissolve one one pound pins so when you got the liter ACL here inside I think it's be enough and uh, wait one day if you white uh, copper dust on bottom disappear it's good if you not disappear you need more HCL so just a bit shake And you see that already starts to disappear. So when the HCL saturated and um, eat all the tin, they start to eat more copper. Uh, before uh, the tin disappear from the pins, uh, you get this white stuff. But uh, when the no more tin, everything is good from that point. So, okay, see you for the couple of days, we'll let this uh, finish his job, and uh, see that foils, they actually looking very good, see you for a couple of days, and this is just a little peak after one hour, we put uh, more ATL, and uh, we see what happens, and you see that? It's just a little bit more that white slug, but uh, they actually already all dissolve, and uh, it's pretty cool. So just one uh, one word for you: you never, but never add uh, more peroxide again in the solution because uh, the peroxide will not harm uh, gold uh, when you start all that process but uh, when you add more peroxide when you already got all the foils to be sure that the peroxide will dissolve your gold so never you can add more HCl but you can uh, you cannot add more peroxide try to remember that okay see you later